In the previous tutorial, we could see how the model can be modified by referencing certain cross-section points of the structure to other axes. In this video, I want to show you another way how certain template values can be overwritten to specific requirements. This can be useful in order to avoid creating and assigning multiple similar templates. For overwriting single template parameters, we can use the overrider commands. For every type of template, there is a specific overrider command that allows the modification of the predefined template values. Within the particular overrider, the specific value that should be overwritten has to be chosen from the drop down list. A new overrider can be defined by clicking the Add Data symbol. After selecting the start and end station directly in the modeling area, the values for the overrider can be specified in the dialog window. By setting the inlet and outlet distance, the transition zones between the standard template configuration and the overrider value are defined. In this example, we want to widen the lane width of the left lane by 3 meters. After confirming the input, a new entry is created in the palette and a preview in the model area shows the defined settings. If more than one overriders are defined for one particular parameter, these can be linked by activating the checkbox next to the Edit Pen icon. The overrider is applied to the model after confirming the input with the OK button. Besides the lane width extension, we want to adjust the vertical offset between the main carriageway and the additional lane at the right roadside. For it, we select the overrider type vertical break and execute the same input procedure like before. Only instead of selecting the dedicated lane, we now choose the reference point of the cross section where the overrider should be performed. After applying the changes, the offset between lanes is modified.